Hello, in the previous lecture you were able to build this map with multiple markers. This map happens to have only two markers, but you get the idea. And the script uh, was this one here, so you can add as many coordinate pairs as you want in here. But in this lecture I want to show you how to add pairs of coordinates out of a text file, which is this one here, volcanoes.txt. If you like, you can just rename the name of this from volcanos.txt to volcanos.csv and then you can open it in, uh, in a program such as Excel. If you like, you can show it on a plain text file as I'm doing in here. Python can read both CSV and text files. So what we have here are some uh, data about volcanoes. Uh, basically, we have a, the number of the volcano, which is some sort of ID, so volcano 020 we have yet another number then and as you see every column so we have columns in this a data file and every column is separated by a comma uh, this is the name of the first column which is which the first value of this first column is this one here then is the name of the second column the first value of the second column is this one here then the second value of the second column is this and so on, and then we have the name column, the name of the volcano in here. Uh, sorry, uh, the name is here, Baker, and then the comma starts here, which means that uh, location is this one here, US Washington. And then we have the status, status historical for the first volcano. And then we have the elevation, which is this one in here. I'm not sure whether these are in feet or meters, but you can find that out. If you're curious, you can do a research for this uh, particular volcano and compare the elevation. Anyway, uh, then we have the type of the volcano. Uh, you have the time frame, which is D3. I'm not sure what this means. D4. And so, uh, then lastly, this is where we are interested about. We have the lat and long columns. So this is lat, which means latitude, and this is longitude of the volcano. So you need these two numeric values in order to map the features, so the volcanoes, into a map. In this case, into a volume map. So this has around 63, actually 62. 263 uh, including the header of the data and so how do we load this file into python well to load that file into python let me clear the terminal and you'd first need to install a very useful library called pandas we're going to use this library later on so i'm not going to explain pandas in detail uh, for now because we were just using one or two of its uh, functions which I'll explain in this lecture. So go ahead and install pandas if you don't have pandas. pip install pandas or, or pip3 install pandas depending on how you have configured python and then you can go ahead and open a python session import pandas and the way to load a file with pandas is by pointing to pandas.read csv volcanos.txt. Make sure that your Python session has been opened in uh, the directory where your volcanos.txt file is. So, for instance, my session is in inside mapping folder, which is this one here, so I can just pass the file name. Otherwise, you may have to pass the absolute path of the file, which starts from like C slash slash and so on, depending on what operating system you are in. And execute that and call data, and you get the data printed out. Just like that. And so, pandas is able, actually, the read CSV method is able to distinguish uh, between these commas where the commas are, and so it creates a well-structured uh, data format with columns. So if you go down here, 
so you have some columns here, column, 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 and then uh, up to the end. And then you have other columns because uh, Python cannot print out. Actually, the terminal doesn't allow you to have all the columns in one in, inside with this area here because it would be too much. Anyway, you have status, elevation, type, time frame, let, and, and uh, long. So that's about the data. Now you need to figure out a way to iterate through that data frame. Mm, so this is called a data frame. So the data object is called a data frame. You can check its type actually. Pandas core frame data frame. So what I'm thinking of is to actually create two lists out of these data frame columns. Mm, so, so to put the latitude column in a, a Python list and the longitude column in another Python list. And so that we have a native Python object, which is a list, and then we can iterate through that list using the for loop. So let me try to do that. Hmm. Uh, import pandas. And then create the data frame object. So loading the data. I read CSV volcanos.txt. And yeah, that's it. So how do we convert a data frame column into a list? Well, the way to do that is by just doing, uh, let's say, l or let equals to data, and then the name of the column, which is let. So you can get a list of columns, by the way, by doing data.columns. Here you see you have a let and a long column. And then you do let equals to list and data long in square brackets. Close it. And so what you did here is data with the long attribute there uh, will return a series object. Uh, but that series object, we are converting it into a native list. Mm, so that will be a Python list. This will also show up as a similar object. So this is a series object. And this is a list, but I prefer to work on a list because uh, working on lists is faster than working on data frame series. Uh, so the idea is to have two lists here that equals to list data long copy that paste it here and the same thing goes for uh, longitude so long lat and long list so now we need to be careful here on how we iterate through these two lists mm, because you know uh, what we have is we have two lists and each of them has 62 items. You can check that uh, using len here, down here. Uh, let. So it has 62 items and the same goes for the longitude list. That means that the first item of the latitude list corresponds to the second item of the latitude list. Uh, sorry, of the longitude list. So the first two items make up the first location of the first marker. Uh, that means in, that in, in the first iteration we need to extract both locations. So actually this sort of structure won't be appropriate anymore. What you need to do is you need to go through uh, let's say lat and lon variables in when you iterate through two lists at the, at the same time you need to use the zip function. And then it goes let and loan. So basically what this function does is like this. Now let's say for i, j in zip. Let's say the first list is 1, 2, 3. And the second is 4, 5, 6. 
print i and j. So this is what happens. Uh, this loop will go um, through these two lists at the same time. So what happens is that i will go through the first item of the first list, while j will go through the first item of the second list. And so in the first iteration, uh, 1 and 4 are extracted. So 1 here and 4 here. And you can do such an extraction by using the zip function. Otherwise, you won't be able to, to do that if you don't use the zip function. So zip sort of distributes the items one by one. And so the same goes here. Uh, LT will get the first item of this list. L1 will get the first item of this list. And then here, what you need to do is in the constructor list with LT and LN. Yeah, and that's it. Save the script, go to the terminal to execute. Uh, it's not here, the terminal. I'll just exit that. Python 3, map1.py, execute. No errors, go to Firefox and reload. I, I've got no markers for some reason, but I didn't get an error. So this is one of those scenarios where you don't get an error in the terminal. So in that case, you need to double check your code carefully. Mm, so data pandas 3 CSV lat list data long. Here is the error. So <laughs> what's happening is that um, I'm assigning the wrong column to the latitude list. So let me change the order and try again so don't get intimidated by errors errors happen all the time you just need to, to be cold-blooded and read the errors if you get any error here and also look at the code carefully and let me reload hmm, I've got some markers now so these are the locations of the volcanoes in north in US actually United States. Okay. They also have this pop-up, which is working well, but I assume you don't like it very much because it's not showing any information. Mm, so what we need to do here is to actually make this pop-up dynamic so that it shows some actual information. And I'll show you how to create dynamic pop-ups in the next video. Talk to you there.